Hi, you're with Laptop Media and in today's video you're going to see the renewed Asus Republic of Gamers G551 in its NVIDIA GTX 960 version. This was incredibly interesting series when it first came out because it combined the very pleasant design of the N550 and made it part of the Republic of Gamers with its black color and red lines and logos. It has a solid metal construction made of aluminium that definitely is something I really like about it. It is nice polish but you will be able to see some of your own fingerprints though. You can definitely see this from the video here. I am still very surprised why Asus persists to integrate an optical drive in their 15.6 inch laptops. That adds weight and size but also takes some of the inside space that could be used for battery capacity for example. But it seems that we have to live with that at least in this series. The keyboard and touchpad are very good, keys have decent deep travel, they are considerably quiet and the touchpad provides nice and easy movement of your fingers over the large multi-touch surface. But the key changes compared to the previous models come with the hardware inside. Screen is 15.6 inch of course and the metrics we found inside is the upgraded IPS from LG. The previous versions were offered with PL screen where we have found some nasty screen flickering all over the brightness levels but the newer ones, the new IPS by LG is clearly better and shows some stunning results in the test. No PWM across all brightness levels. The color reproduction is not bad but shows a bit lower results than we have expected. 84% of the sRGB gamut and 64% of the Adobe RGB gamut coverage. However, I would say the viewing angles and colors look acceptable at least to me. After all, this is part of the so-called low-budget gaming class laptops. The hardware is normally taking the laptop into the gaming orbit with its GTX 960 GPU which came with 4GB of GDDR5 dedicated video memory. Its performance is absolutely at the level of other competitors, equipped with the same GPU and CPU, quad-core i7 by Intel in this case. So, if you look at some of the benchmark tests we published in our review, you can clearly see that in some cases there is minor better or lower performance by the G551 compared to other similar models, but overall no major differences were noted, so I would definitely give it a good mark in this category. There is also an easy SSD upgrade possible here, so you can make a really capable gaming warrior out of this laptop, keeping the storage capacity you need at the same time. One of the reasons for good performance results is normally the good cooling system of the laptop. Working temperatures kept under 42 degrees Celsius around the central section of the case under high load, even though it did not feel uncomfortable to work with. My final words are definitely in favor of this laptop, simply because that's exactly what I call an update. Better screen, better performance and great price compared to other models and brands in this class. The only thing I really disliked was the little bulkiness of the case and the weight which is more than 2 kilograms and a half. But apart from that, we have a great great laptop here and I'm sure it will satisfy the needs of many gamers looking for well balanced price to power decision. Check our full review at laptopmedia.com using the links on screen and of course subscribe to the channel for more videos like that. Bye.